please and hello everyone. Now we can start our webinar. So thank you for joining our webinar today with Warsaw Management University about studying in Poland. So our speaker today will be Mr. Piotr, International Director of the University. And I'm Jones, Marketing Specialist for Net24. First, I would like to thank you very much to Net24 and Dennis and uh, all the team uh, for this uh, uh, for for this uh, no great great uh, how to say um, challenge for me uh, I feel very 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 proud that that uh, me and my university uh, got some chance to to um, you know have opportunity to present uh, us uh, for for. Uh, that noble agents uh, as you are uh, because uh, I'm working with Net24 for uh, many, many years and uh, really, I, I really appreciate the partners, they, uh, they you know, cooperate with Net24. Among that partners, I met my uh, best partners and with that partners, we created a very huge uh, international programs. Now we are, uh, you know, uh, we actually, I personally uh, set up the international department uh, some time ago, and now we are one of the uh, biggest uh, um, international department and international recruitment uh, in Poland. And uh, I sacrifice, I dedicate this success uh, to to Net24. So thank you, thank you um, again. And uh, I am, uh, as I was presented, international director of the Warsaw Management University. I am also, what is very important uh, in this, uh, this business, I am also a teacher, PhD, I have uh, classes with my students, I have uh, uh, diploma seminars with them, and uh, that gives me opportunity to understand my students so in, a, in the different ang angle uh, our clients clients uh, in a very broad uh, perspective so i think that's uh, this is uh, because of my role here i have opportunity to uh, understand their needs the expectations, the feelings, the anxieties, the, the problems. And believe me, I do much to, to give them as high value as is possible, not only uh, in the range of recruitment, but also, uh, also uh, for the whole study, like, you know, I'm deciding to for staffing, so I'm choosing. I'm trying to choose the best teachers for uh, for them. Uh, which we try to adjust program in that way to um, uh, to not maybe not program but schedule. Program is given by the minister, uh, but schedule uh, to match uh, the study with the work. Yeah, because uh, more or less 100% of our students uh, are working here and. Uh, have to uh, have to join at the same time they study and uh, and and job. Uh, the first you can see the logo of our university, uh, and uh, there is one thing um, that is very interesting and important on it. Uh, the 1995. It was a year we uh, have been established, and uh, that uh, might be seen that we are quite young university. According to some, uh, you know, uh, universities with uh, a few hundred years, yes, but according to our reality in Poland, uh, we are one of the oldest private universities in Poland, because before 1990, uh, we had a communism, uh, we were under let's say occupation of okay maybe a little bit exaggeration uh, but it was under under a control reign of russia and in that time uh, no especially middle level or, or big company especially uh, private universities private uni education it was impossible to to have such yeah so we, we are very proud uh, that we are one of the oldest and and this is something uh, that that um, we try to to boast of yeah something like that 
Okay, at first, a few words about uh, Poland. Uh, Poland is uh, a country more or less in the middle of Europe between uh, such countries like Germany on the west and Ukraine uh, on the uh, south. Probably every one of you knows what is happening in, in uh, um, Ukraine now. And uh, our university, uh, as much as is possible, try to help uh, Ukrainian people. Our dormitory gave, uh, you know, offer uh, some places for families. And, and uh, we are very, very active in, in getting them support as much as is possible. Yeah. Uh, apart of them, we are, we are of course, uh, neighbors like Czech, Lithuania, and even uh, Russia and Belarus. Yeah. What is more, Poland is, uh, it might be a little bit funny for you, uh, because I know reality in, for instance, India uh, or China, uh, that we are a big country with 38 million of people. However, I remember when I was in New Delhi in India uh, and presented that numbers at the audience that started to laugh a little bit because they told me, okay, this is twice as our city. <laughs> uh, but uh, our reality is a little bit different in Europe, uh, not only numbers, but many, many other rules. And uh, believe me, we are handled as a very important uh, player in uh, Europe. Um, uh, okay. Uh, what are what um, are the benefits to study in Poland? Of course, we are European nation, European uh, country, uh, community nations. Uh, that means that any documents, any diplomas, any any visa, uh, any any other documents is acceptable in any other European countries. So if your students finish uh, the study in Poland, uh, that diploma is, uh, gets uh, full acceptance and respect in any other countries in, uh, in Europe, actually all over the world. Yeah? Uh, but uh, uh, why we are, let's say Poland is the best uh, place to study. Uh, okay, the, sec uh, the second point is the quality of education. You can check statistics and research. The education in Poland is very high, uh, but the cost of living, cost of studying uh, is one of the lowest in Europe. Only we can compare with Lithuania, Wotwa, uh, but we are a much bigger country than, uh, than that, that, that countries. Uh, so that's why I always say, and I really believe in that, that we are absolutely uh, the best country for foreign students to, uh, to study. Uh, what is more, low cost of living. Our dormitory, I'm going to, to tell you a little bit more in details, but uh, for instance, our dormitory cost 150 euro a month, uh, and uh, I'm very often asked about uh, average uh, cost of living in, in Warsaw, in our country, so uh, more or less 300 euro for the one who wants to spend more 400 euro is absolutely enough to uh, to uh, you know not only to buy to pay for accommodation transportation and food but also to go outside on the weekend and and have some fun yeah what is more uh, in poland but especially in warsaw uh, we suffer lack of employees. Uh, there is a huge uh, market for, for job and uh, any of our students uh, has job if they just, if they want to have. And uh, our students even didn't have any problem with, the, with their job during the worst pandemic times. Okay, some of them uh, got lost his job uh, because, uh, you know, uh, pandemics uh, hit in many companies, uh, but uh, during the next week or two, they found another job, yeah? And there are two kinds of jobs. 
there are jobs like uh, part-time uh, jobs in a McDonald's, KFC, or some receptionist hotel uh, for anyone who just came to our country and don't know language, don't don't know rules, uh, and uh, you know need to get used to that culture. Uh, but uh, there is also, I will show you, uh, Warsaw is also very business uh, hub uh, with multinational head offices here. And uh, for anyone who wants to follow this career, especially after being graduated, there is a huge opportunity to to get you know a position in the multinationals and and then uh, then uh, being promoted in many many other countries uh, uh, if uh, you know got accepted by that uh, by that companies. Anyway, what is what you can see on this picture? This is a city center of Warsaw, and what is interesting, uh, almost all of these high towers you can see here have been built during the last 30 years. Uh, uh, apart from two buildings, uh, the rest uh, are quite new. That is a perfect example how Poland, and uh, specifically Warsaw, has been developing over time. Incredible. Yeah, uh, uh, Warsaw, uh, of course, in uh, last, last uh, many cities in Poland, but Warsaw has a very traditional part uh, and is uh, also handled as a touristic city with a beautiful old town, beautiful uh, churches, places, uh, castles. Uh, uh, so, so this is really a good place for people to spend uh, spend their free times and you know have leisure. Yeah? Students love love that place. This is the most typical, most common uh, place in Warsaw. Okay, but uh, I'm go I'm not going to uh, tell you more about uh, Poland and Warsaw. Just about uh, our university. Uh, so I think the best way to present our university is giving you some pictures uh, because uh, we have uh, facilities and campus that we can really. Boast of, yeah, and uh, this is our um, uh, this is our um, main building, uh, quite new. It has been built about fifteen years ago, something like that. Uh, it is really beautiful, modern. Only in in Warsaw, only three um, universities are located in a modern facilities, but two of them they are state universities. So uh, we are only private university in, in, in Warsaw with that uh, amazing uh, architecture. Yeah? Uh, anyway, in, in the middle pillar, in the, uh, in, on the second floor, there is my office when I am sitting now <laughs> and, and, and talking to you. What is, interesting, uh, what is interesting on this picture yet? The white building on the left of the picture, the small one, uh, this is our sport facilities uh, that I'm going to show you in a minute. And the picture is taken from our dormitory. So uh, our campus is uh, uh, really, you know, um, huge, sophisticated, and every necessary um, things that, that uh, students are looking for are located here. Okay, this is a typical standard of our students' hall. That hall is actually my favorite one. I love, I love uh, having classes with students here. And uh, that class is uh, dedicated for more or less uh, 200 students. And we have five that kind of uh, students' halls. Yeah? Students are feeling very uh, well in that places as well. This is something extraordinary you will not find in almost any university in Poland, uh, including uh, state universities. This is, a, we call it concert hall or auditorium maximum for about 700 uh, students, uh, students, participants. And uh, it is really, let's say, very prestigious and sophisticated uh, place. I would say, I would, uh, uh, point you out uh, one thing: these white lanes uh, on the silk, uh, you know, mounted. Uh, that things uh, has been made by British company. 
uh, that uh, uh, specially came to our university and mounted that. Uh, and the purpose of that, that wind lanes is to make the uh, place very audible and uh, acoustic, acoustic, acoustic uh, in that uh, uh, hall is really great. Uh, and we resulted that, uh, with um, that uh, perfect um, voice distribution with that, that many cultural events are taking place here, like uh, jazz concert, uh, uh, even rock concert. Uh, uh, soon there will be uh, a, given a play, uh, wow. theater play given by Belarusian, very famous um, theater team. Uh, so, so maybe your, your students also could be invited in there. Uh, of course, we met here the president of Poland, prime ministers, head of European unions, uh, very official official events uh, were, were take places here. Uh, this is uh, the same, uh, the same um, uh, place, uh, but taken from, from a different uh, angle. This is a very interesting uh, place. I like it very much. Okay, this is an example of our canteen uh, for more or less 100 students with very affordable pr prices for, for the students if they just want to, uh, to use that. Uh, this is our swimming pool located in the wide building I showed you before. Uh, Olympic standard in length, so sometimes even national competition is uh, um, taken here. Uh, however, there is not uh, much place for audience, so so not often that kind of uh, uh, of meetings are taken here. But uh, swimming pool is open for our students for regular sport classes, uh, as well as you know after hours uh, they have a huge bonus to to use that place. What is more, this is also Olympic standards of uh, sport hall. Uh, we offer five types of uh, sport classes for our students. This is volleyball, basketball, handball, football, and dancing class as well. The traditional, I mean, classical dancing class. Uh, what is more, our handball team is the best uh, handball team among um, teams, uh, among, among students' teams in Poland, yeah? So any students who is good in, 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 uh, in handball can join us and you know uh, work for the prestige of our of our university as well. This is our dormitory uh, and uh, located just next to the main building, as I told you at the, at the beginning, uh, for more or less about 300 uh, students. And uh, you know, students, our students even don't need to, you know, come out, come outside to get their classes. Uh, and uh, we are on, we are only private university in Warsaw that has uh, their own dormitory. Yeah? So we are also very proud uh, about that. Okay, about uh, our offer. Uh, oh, there is one change because we just uh, have opened one more uh, major, I mean faculty. Uh, so at the moment uh, we offer 11 faculties to our um, students, but just three of them can be uh, conducted in English, anyway in Russian as well, but we are talking about English programs. Uh, so we offer business management, bachelor and master's degree, Computer Engineering, Bachelor and Master's degree, and Psychology. This is five years master program that combines Bachelor and Master together. Uh, so it is dedicated for uh, high school graduates and they finish with, with master uh, degree. Regarding our uh, uh, fees, uh, you will find it, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, very much true. So you can you can check it with the, our competitors. We are one of the uh, you know we are one, we are one of the the lowest um, prices, lowest fees. Uh, Two hundred euro. This is application fee, and this is the only fee non-refundable. Yeah, if uh, if students uh, do not get visa or decide to to not to start um, 
uh, studying at our university. Uh, 2,500 for bachelor's degree, I mean uh, for master, uh, for business management and uh, computer engineering uh, bachelor's degree as, uh, as well as for psychology and 3,300 for master's degree, uh, so business management and IT. Uh, and our dormitory, 100 euro a month. However, some rooms a little bit more expensive. I mean, 117 depends on the number of students uh, uh, allocated in one room. Uh, the next benefit, we always open uh, to uh, intakes, October intake and March intake. For some universities, there is a huge problem to collect enough students for March intake to open group, and it, it makes uh, very troubles for, for students, for, for agents. I can tell you that uh, now we are going to start uh, the next uh, intake soon in a few weeks, and at the, and that moment, uh, we recruited nearly the same number of students as uh, it was uh, for October intake. And believe me, there is a huge number of students. So, so we are really, you know, we really get a, a great respect of, of students, I, I believe in that. Uh, we can also offer a um, very high standard of preparatory English language course uh, for 3,250 euro for two semester and 1,900 for one semester. And uh, especially the one year uh, course is, uh, uh, is prepared that way uh, that uh, even absolute beginners can join uh, that uh, course. And after a year, uh, he is ready uh, to take IELTS exam. And most of the students who uh, decided to get this IELTS ex exam uh, pass it. Yeah. So this is a, a great, uh, a great. Uh, uh, proof of the quality of uh, that uh, courses. To sum up, uh, I haven't told you before, but uh, we are one of the top 20 universities uh, uh, in Poland. Uh, I mean, private universities. You can find us uh, uh, more or less that place in every prestigious ranking. Uh, you saw our mm, excellent architecture. Uh, you saw the dormitory just on next uh, on the left. Uh, you saw uh, our um, sport facilities. I, even, I, I haven't mentioned before, but we even have two levels of underground parking for a few hundreds of cars. Uh, you saw our tuition fees, uh, but uh, you haven't seen something that is, I think, uh, also uh, uh, something that you might might be interested in. So our commission that, believe me, is one of the top or maybe even the top uh, in Poland uh, among uh, students, among uh, universities. Uh, we pay from 15 till 25% uh, of annual tuition fee. Uh, depends on the number of students. Up to 10 students, there is 15%. 11.30 students, there is uh, 20%, and 25% uh, is over uh, 30 students. And, um, and uh, okay, more or less this, uh, this is uh, all about the presentation of uh, our university. Uh, so thank you very much for, for being listening. Uh, if any question, I, I'll be glad, uh, glad to, to, to reply. Yes, exactly. If you have any question, please write to us on the Q&A section. Thank you so much, Piot, for your uh, presentation. I was stunned by your university and also about the um, working shortage, as you said, that you're lacking in personnel and in people. It might be a very good chance for students to come and stay, for example, in Poland, because the living expense is not as expensive as other countries in, in right in in Europe. That's the first one, and the second one. I myself, I am an example of a student studying abroad and staying here to work. And now I'm working in an international company, which is very wonderful, Net Twenty Four. But you can see me as a live example. So I will re really welcome you to Poland. So now let's read the Q&A section.
Do you have any visa grant risk? And if yes, what is the money refund rules? What is the time period until getting the offer? And how long do you reply emails? <laughs> okay. Me personally, I reply uh, with long <laughs> my emails uh, because at the moment I have uh, more or less uh, 150 agents and uh, about 300 students. They want something from me. So believe me, my, my replying email is sometimes is tough, but my replying WhatsApp is much better. So anyone who wants to uh, get something from me, uh, please send WhatsApp message instead of, uh, instead of uh, uh, emails. But of course, my team uh, replies because I have team uh, for in, a, in a recruitment staff in, in the dean's office. Uh, so my team uh, replies, uh, Okay, in general, if there is not extreme uh, tough period uh, uh, during uh, one, two days, uh, okay, sometimes it might take a little bit more, uh, especially when we have, you know, top of our, of our uh, uh, work uh, time. Uh, regarding reform uh, policy, uh, uh, the only, okay, the only decision uh, for students to get reform for candidates, sorry, for, uh, for candidates uh, is, to, is to prepare a reform letter and the maximum date uh, for, get, for get reform date is 30 days. But this is maximum in order for, uh, we are very, you know, overburdened by uh, work. Normally it's the two weeks, uh, three weeks, but uh, just uh, very rarely it takes more than 30 days. And mostly it is because some problem with, with, uh, uh, with uh, formalities, yeah? Uh, so so this, is, uh, this, is, uh, this is my reply, yeah? Yes, and I know a few of the students studying over there. And I came to know it's a great university. Ah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, uh, to, to make this emotion maybe a little bit uh, realistic, sometimes they complain for me or for, or for other teachers not to get um, good enough grades. <laughs> but but this, <laughs> this, this is a different <laughs> story. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. This is very important for us to, to get such information. Thank you so much, John. Okay, so another question from Andrew. Uh, how many years are the university's programs? What is the bachelor's and master's programs? And so maybe what kind of um, major you, you offer, as I understand? Mm, how many years our bachelor's offer? Uh, I'm not sure uh, about the meaning, uh, the, the point. Maybe, okay, we start our bachelor's master. I mean, I mean... Uh, business management and uh, computer engineering we offer from the very beginning or nearly the very beginning. We, uh, originally, that, that university started with business management, but later we developed uh, our, our programs. Uh, psychology, this is a program that has been set up, I don't know, 10 years ago, something like that. But business management was set up uh, 27 years ago, yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank this, you. So, if, if, if this was a point of this question. Yeah. So maybe, maybe also we can understand it. Like, how many years will students spend to mm, to study? Ah, okay. Uh, every bachelor's program. No, okay, not every. But most the bachelor's program lasts uh, three years, so six semesters. Uh, but um, uh, IT programs, bachelor's programs, last uh, seven semesters. It's a little bit longer. Uh, every master programs last four four semesters. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. so, um, do you need IELTS or PE, PTE as English requirement? Okay, uh, in general, uh, the requirement not uh, given by us by the by the ministry. This is formal. Uh, we're expecting B two uh, level of uh, English uh, skills. Uh, of course, it would be the best if they have. English language certificate, uh, but we do not expect any, the, let's say, the most popular and most prestigious uh, uh, certificates like IELTS or, or uh, that like, um, but uh, uh, what is more, we even don't expect any certificate, uh, but we have uh, interview with uh, maybe not every, but most of the candidates, 
And for us, the most important is to, <clears throat> uh, for students to have a communicative uh, level of English. Doesn't matter if uh, he gets certificate or not. Uh, if uh, they do not have certificate, uh, after they coming here, we offer them internal exam and they get uh, our own uh, university's uh, English certificate. It, it is absolutely enough. You know? For agency who have located in Poland, can we personally meet with Piotr to have a contact? Yeah, in my office. Uh, can you see me? <laughs> this is my office. You are invited here. <laughs> there is a much place. There is a dormitory over that uh, that uh, window, <laughs> so we can meet in our. Uh, you can, we can meet in our um, in my office. We can meet, uh, uh, you know, outside in a dinner. Uh, I spent much time with my. With, uh, you know, one third of my time, uh, business time, professional time. There are some kind of meetings in here or outside. So for sure, yeah, you are, you are welcome to to um, you know see me or meet somewhere. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you uh, for all of you to, to join that webinar. Hope to see you in Mumbai uh, during the conference and after that as well. <laughs> yes. So thank you, John. You are great as well. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a okay. great day. Bye-bye. Have bye -bye. a great day. Goodbye.